damnation. Every single one of you peace-loving hippies, Paris moves. Hellfire, damnation. You say you found the $20,000 in a cruise ship. That is correct, sir. A cruise ship that you found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean after it had completely dried up. Well, not completely dried up. Then you brought it here in your time machine. A temporal transport device. Uh-huh. You ever been inside the Bureau of Engraving? On numerous occasions. Oh, so you admit it. Of course. I supervised the excavation. The what? You see... When the city of Washington took a direct hit from the comet Abaddon... Oh, for the love of... Sir, something you need to see. Hello. Just came in from D.C. Secretary's signature. The yet-to-be-nominated secretary's signature? This is a perfect match. Which means what? Which means maybe the money isn't counterfeit. Everything about it is real except for the date. Maybe this guy's telling us the truth. That he's actually from the... In the future. That is not possible. I don't know how else to explain it. All right, whatever this is, I don't know what the hell's happening, but it is out of my pay grade. Connect me with the National Security Agency. All right, in my defense, uh, the eggnog was, was quite strong that night, and I had this really nice uh, mistletoe belt buckle. It was adorable. It really we was. just wait a second. Oh, okay, something. wait. Can we just back up? In your flashback, your sister did not have an accent. So what's that about? Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah, he goes on vacation for a week in Europe, comes back with a British accent. How do you feel about that? It's annoying! Why are you Is that true? You know, fine, yeah, it's true. Oh, look, I can stop. I can stop whenever I want. Is that what you want? Is this it? Yeah, I would have been real happy if you stopped four months ago. Oh, you know what? You and started... I would have been real happy if you would have paid me back the money you owed me four months ago. But who's counting, right? What? Uh, excuse me, are you seriously drinking a wine cooler? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. We were tailgating in the parking lot. Yeah. I don't want to bring beer. That's not classy. So I thought, it was you a know, party. we get classy. I brought some cheese, too. You want some? No, thank you. All right, seat yourself. Whatever. That's good shit. There you Deputy Director, you can do this. I told you, it's over. Please don't shut me down. David, Senator Feldman's looking for you. Tell him I'll be David, please. Agencies say they've been monitoring the blast. But if in fact this was a covert military strike, no nation has yet... CIA is up my ass about this mystery raid in the Middle East. birthday is it? Oh, this isn't birthday cake. It's get well soon cake. Get well soon? Mm -hmm. For who? Randy. Aaron bet him that he couldn't write his name in a piece of sheet metal with a power saw. That doesn't sound so hard. Blindfolded. Ooh. I know he loves that blindfold stuff. Aaron's always going around challenging people. He says in a past life he was a professional duelist. He doesn't look so tough. Hey, I'd be careful around him if I were you, Ron. Excuse me, everyone. I'll be having the last piece of cake. Unless, of course, someone else would like to have it. I would love the last piece of cake. You must be hungry. Oh, I'm stuck. Right. As the manager of this facility, there is only one fair and sensible way to settle this dispute. Forklift blindfold challenge. 
Vanessa! Tim? Vanessa! Oh, God. Look, I don't have a lot of time, okay? So I'm just gonna come out and say this. I need sex, and I need it now. What? Look, really, I swear to God, this is a life or death situation. Life or death? Well, mainly death, but look, I just need you to trust me on this. Trust you? This is coming from the guy that said that Michael Jackson stopped by his house to use his bathroom. <sighs> okay, again, that wasn't me. That was Chunk from the Goonies. Mm-hmm.